Hey everybody, Scott here. In this short video, I'd like to talk about Microsoft Publisher. And you might be asking yourself, why in the world do I need to know another program? Well, have you ever opened up Microsoft Word, you wrote down some text, you typed it down, and then you tried to put on images and shapes, and you tried to put it in a particular location, and then the words wrapped around it funky and it wouldn't work right, then you couldn't move it over here. It seemed to be what they call is anchored. It seemed to be anchored in one location. Then you try to put another image in there and it just screwed up the entire document. Well, if this has happened to you, Publisher is your huckleberry. Let me tell you about what it is, and then I'll go over Publisher. I'll, go, I'll show you on Publisher how to get started. Publisher, Microsoft Publisher, is great for layouts, flyers, brochures, invitations, anything where you have to design things. Microsoft Word is great for documents, but it's not so great often, unless you know some of the advanced features, for putting a lot of images and really designing it well. You most likely, or many of you, have Publisher already. You've probably just never seen it. Uh, you can search your, if you go down to the lower left, if you have Windows 10 or Windows 7, something like that, you can search to see if you have Publisher on your computer. You probably do. Not all packages have Publisher, but many of them do. If you'd like to create a document, a publication, you can use templates just like you do with Word, or you can create them from scratch. And really, why do you want to use it? Because it can make designing very, very easy. So let's head over to Publisher. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, let's show you exactly what happens in Publisher. You might be asking yourself, how do I even know if I have Publisher? If you have Windows 10 or an earlier version, there should be a search box in the lower left-hand portion, or you can even speak it on a lot of computers. But I'm going to type in PU. By the time I get to B, I can see PUB. I can see that I have it. So see if you have it on your computer, your machine. And as it opens up, you're going to see that it looks extremely similar to Word, PowerPoint, Excel, blah, blah, blah. That's because it is. That's why the learning curve for this is pretty small if you are even a little bit familiar with those other programs. Now, there are a ton of cool templates that I ask you to explore on your own, but that's not what I want to show you in this video. You can create a document, a template from scratch using the portrait style, the first one, or landscape. But what I really want to show you is there's something called more blank page sizes, and they have a whole bunch of preloaded sizes here. But let's say, for example, you had to do a poster that was 22 by 28. Well, if you clicked on create new page size, you could simply, hopefully you can see that, type in 22 by 28. OK, and it creates it, and then you have to basically open it up. And now you might be saying, big deal, that just looks like a normal sheet. Well, that is true, but when you go to print this out, in fact, let me go over to print here. If you have a normal computer that prints out regular computer pages, you're going to see in a second that this will print out on nine different sheets. And that might be good enough for you. You can kind of paste them together and make it work, but here's one of the advanced strategies that I've seen some of my students use. If you have to create a large poster, design it up just exactly the way you want, to, you want it to look on here, and then go to a place like Kinko's or similar type shop like that. You can usually email it to them, your, your document, your design, or you can take it on a thumb drive, and then they can print it out on a big poster size sheet. They have those huge printers. And I know black and white is cheaper than color, so you'll certainly want to make sure that you can do that. I think it, that a color size, a big poster might cost upwards of $30 or so, but less colors, black and white, it can certainly be much cheaper than that. But man, you can make a dynamite looking poster and just take it to one of the shops and have them do that. But regardless of the size, let me show you how easy this thing is to make work. A lot of the same features as Word, PowerPoint, things like that. I want to show you, drawing a text box is really easy wherever you want text. You can just open it up and let's say we want to do the planets and you might be saying to yourself, I can't even see that, Scott. Well, you can use the slider bar, the zoom bar on the bottom to, op to make this bigger or smaller. You can also use the view tab to make this work. And there's a couple other features there. Figure that out another time. But let's say I want to say planet number one, the first planet is Mercury, blah, 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 blah. And you can type it in. You're like, oh, big deal. I can do that in Word. Well, 
sort of, yes you can. But number one, we're gonna resize this because we're gonna do this multiple times. I'm gonna just make a quick design on here, make that bold. A lot of, lot of ways, by the way, to make this look great, but I'm doing a very simple one. You put your information there. But here's the cool thing. If I click inside it, I can then, if I hover around the edges, I can drag it to wherever I want. It doesn't get anchored in one place. And let's say you do your design. You have nine planets, for example, or did they reduce a planet? I think it's eight officially now. They got rid of um, the last planet, Pluto. But anyway, what I can do is if I'm hovered over it, I can right click. I have to be, I have to sometimes click inside it and then click copy, paste. Now I can put it wherever I want. Let's say I had nine, nine planets, eight planets, whatever it is now. I could just do this. And I guess I'm not gonna do it for all of them. But design it once and then start putting your text boxes wherever you want them. Pretty cool, right? Doesn't get anchored in one location. Now, the same goes true with pictures. You can click on pictures and you can get it from a file or let's say you wanted to do a, a Mercury. You can actually search, their search engine is Bing. Oh, there we go, I'm just gonna pick the first one, I'm not gonna get too crazy. Insert. And you can put that there, let me get rid of that. Now you can do all the cool things, let me make this just a little bit bigger. All the cool things, the images that you can do with Word and PowerPoint. If you click on the image, if you click off it, nothing's gonna happen, you click on it, you should have this format tab up here, and you can, oh, there we go. Yeah, blackboard, that's not gonna work so well, but you can put a border around it. You can change the color. It's not, the blackboard is not gonna show up here. Lots of picture effects. Sure, you can do all the stuff you wanna do. And then, let's see what else. So you can move, and if you wanna copy this, let's say this is, you wanted this multiple, the same picture in multiple places. You can move it all around. You probably want a different picture if you want the next planet in line, Venus, whatever it is, but you can move it around. So using this, it can be extremely easy to design your poster, your flyer, whatever it might be. And then it's just as simple as, I'm hitting Control P, but you could hit, you can come over here to the backstage view, click print, and then you can determine how you wanna print it, all one page or multiple pages and things like that. Now this is a very, very quick, short tutorial. Of course, there's about a million more features, but play around with this so you can get started. I'll create a more in-depth in depth tutorial shortly, but I hope this little video helps you get started with what I think is a really dynamite plan for designing things. Best of luck, everybody.